Hey yo, how's it going guys? Half for y'all today. A quick little show down live. If y'all do enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Uh, hopefully y'all have a good day today. For those of you who are single, happy Singles Awareness Day. Also, apparently it's like donation day or something like it's transplant day or something so donate a heart yeah <laughs> if yours if yours is broken and you don't want to have it anymore that was a terrible joke by the way but regardless <laughs> how's it going guys happy valentine's day i know been a minute since i've done a show down live gonna try and get some wi-fi battles this week for y'all definitely for sure on ultra sumo but this is a pretty cool team i got from my boy tone figure since i'm in round five of the pu uh winter seasonal i should start actually playing pu a little bit more so decided to use this squad i'm not sure if i'll use this in a future round or not but if i don't then hey uh, it's fine because the team is still pretty cool so let's go ahead and uh, get a battle or three hopefully all right so we got our first match here and jellison plus frost last actually looks really annoying to potentially deal with uh mega agron being bandaged shouldn't be entirely too bad i kind of just want to lead with my prime ape since i can just u-turn out against anything uh, alternatively, I can lead off with my Sand Slash as well if I wanted to. I feel like he's just going to lead with Frost Slash, which is like the scariest thing, I think. Because he needs to have rocks on this Aggron for sure then. So I might just go ahead and U-turn on out into my Sand Slash. As he does lead off with the Frost Slash, that is fine. I could go for the edge. I really don't want to. No, I'm like I'm going to get Curse Bodied. <laughs> and as, as I do get Curse Bodied, so if I did go for Stun is there, that would have been... Uh, a little bit bad for us so we can bring in uh, alolan slash here as he turns out to have the psychic gets a crit unfortunately but it's not entirely too bad as i kind of want to go for toxic here he may want to go for destiny bond so i'm going to try and toxic as he actually goes for shadow ball that's doing nothing to us so putting this frost last on the timer now is going to be really good because this way we don't no longer have to offensively attack it in order to knock it out but i still kind of feel like going for the iron head in case he wants to try and spike as he destiny bonds of course of course he destiny bonds there that was i knew that was coming i knew it was coming and i was still just like you know what screw it we're gonna we're gonna go for it so that was really dumb on my end shouldn't have done that shouldn't have done that i'm not sure if he'd bring in agron he might want to bring in the alolan persian or the jellison is what i'm thinking so i'm gonna bring in my pom pom here and probably just go for hidden power fighting yeah, because we're going to get off damage on this. We get off a huge hit on Aggron as well. Even if you parting shots, like this is still four times super effective. As he tries to switch a Rue. Ooh, that is not going to work, buddy. That is not going to work at all. So I can actually just go for another hidden power fighting, I think. I could be aggressive in Hurricane as well if I wanted to. I don't think he goes for a double switch a Rue since he's locked into it. So he knows we have hidden power fighting. Does he stay in thinking we switch? I doubt it. Like... Raichu's such a safe switch in here, I think. So I'm going to double out into my Mudsdale. Ooh, this is perfect. Okay, I'll take this because now we can just get up our rocks. Rocks are going to be super nice to break the sturdy on this Aggron as he goes for the return. It does nothing because Mudsdale is ridiculously bulky. So I'm actually going to go ahead and fire off a Toxic here. I don't mind this at all. And I may just stay in to take the next hit because I think he does put us right in range of our Figgy Berry. So this is an exchange I'm willing to take. I don't mind this at all. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. We live this. Yeah, okay. So we get our figure berry at least, and we're brought back up to 63%. Okay, so that was my fault. I thought he would have put us right into range. I guess I forgot the fact they're in the f uh, defense boost that uh, Mudsdale does get. So down goes Kangaskhan. <clears throat> we're not sitting in too bad of a spot right now. As in comes the Jellison. This being... Specs could be a little bit scary. Do I need to save this? Keeping this around for the Persian or the Aggron is still super nice, I think. If I get rid of this, I just win with my with my Primeape. So I'm going to switch into Roselia here. Very obvious, but still my safest play. As he turns out to have the Toxic, and he is indeed a defensive Jellison. So this is good for us because this means this should not be able to touch us. And even though Taunt is very obvious, I'm still going to spike just because I want to start getting that nice residual damage on his team. As in comes the Persian, we know that this is choice in some way. Do I really need my Jellicent at this point in the battle? My own Jellicent doesn't necessarily do much for me, so I'm going to sack that off, if anything, or just uh, switch it in for the fodder to trick here. And I think I'm just going to spam Hex at this point. As he turns to have the Night Slash, not sure why he doesn't have Knockoff. 
Maybe he has knockoff on King. Does King just call him knockoff? No, he learned Sucker Punch. I'm not sure why he doesn't have knockoff on this. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter even if he did have knockoff because he would have been able to live any two hits. As down goes the Persian, this is fine. Uh, my Jellison is basically death water at this point in the match to so whatever comes in. And even if he brings in the Aggron, uh, if it is rock polish, I don't think that's the worst thing ever. And this is not going to be able to just really nasty plot. So I don't mind just staying in here and being aggressive with Jellison. So he knocks me out. Then that way we get a free switch into our Primeape as he turns out to be leftovers so i just get to click u-turn as he potentially switches for free or earthquake i think nabs me a ko except against against the jealousy do i want a u-turn here actually i'm not sure if an earthquake actually knocks us out i'm gonna check real quick just because i really don't know i really don't know if earthquake knocks us out uh yeah it should knock it out actually judging from how much damage u-turn is doing Oh yeah, like 86 min? I can just go for U-turn, actually. Yeah. Okay, so down goes Raichu. I'll gladly take that as I can bring in my Orokorio. And Orokorio basically deals with his last two mons at this point. If this is like Rock Polish with uh, Weakness Policy... <laughs> oh my lord, <laughs> that could actually be a little scary. That could be a little scary, actually. Please don't be Weakness Policy. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like... When it gets to positions like this, I always think about like, what's the worst case scenario that could happen? I was like, oh, well, Weakness Policy if it lives. My HP fighting could actually be really bad. So he turns out to have the Water Spout. Does not do any type of damage to us. As I'm just going to go ahead and pop the Z move here. I don't think this will knock him out. But it will definitely put him in range of another one. As that did zero. That definitely did not do as much as I expected it to have done. And if it really comes down to it. I can always just Toxic him with my Mudsdale. So yeah, solid first game. Let's go ahead and get another one. Alright, so I forgot to mention this in the first part of the video because I'm in a little bit of a rush to get this done because I've procrastinated so much on a bunch of draft leak stuff I have to do this weekend because I'm a terrible terrible person but this was supposed to be with Tone like me and Tone are eventually going to do a showdown live for those of you who watch my PU tour games you, you will uh, you will have heard the name Tone but <clears throat> hopefully we will get around to doing a showdown live together uh, in the PU tier. I think he's like the PU, he's a PU moderator, I think, or something along those lines. I know he definitely is high up there on the PU uh, power scale when it comes to uh, leadership in Smogon. So, yeah, uh, we have a pretty cool looking team here. Dragon Dance Fracture is actually something I'm terrified of, because if that sets up late game, that could be a little problem. I might as well just lead off with my Primeape. Literally, Primeape just kind of U-turns really for free honestly i could also just leave mudsdale but i'm worried that he'll leave frost last like game number one so i'm leading off on my primate as he does end up leading off for the frost last i think we're just going to do the same thing going to u-turn right into my boy alolan sand slash here and this time hopefully not mess up and an iron head on a destiny bond so i switched accounts because i realized that my first account was a uh, lower on the p ladder than i had expected so uh this person should be a little bit better than the person we faced before because his account is much much higher so yeah gonna switch right into sand slash actually couldn't roselia like easily tank any hit honestly that's what i figured like it can just live anything can't it so <laughs> he gets a spadef drop uh that's a little bit unfortunate but i can still rapid spin on potentially the Mesprit is what I'm hoping for if it doesn't have HP fighting, which could be a, a little bit annoying actually. Oh, I don't know if I want to iron head here now. I could try and rapid spin, but he's probably just gonna shadow ball again. This frost is actually a giant, giant problem. I'm gonna try an iron head, I guess. Okay, so frost slash should go down here. I can spin on the Mesprit, is what I'm hoping. If not, then these spikes are gonna be a little problematic. Because Sand Slash is, of course, our hazard control. So I'm hoping he does bring in Mesprit. This way we can spin. But him bringing in Primate or Doug Trio makes the most sense, I think. And two layers of spikes are going to be very, very annoying for us. Is there a way that this knocks us out? Uh, it probably does. But I want to check real quick here. Alone with Sand Slash, where art thou? Especially defensive... Doug Trio, PU Suicide Lead. We can actually live an Earthquake here if he is uh, not like Bandit or Life Orb. Yeah. Mm, is it worth it? Is it worth the risk here? What do I really switch into this? Mudsdale, I suppose. That gives me rocks, if anything. Yeah, I have to switch in Mudsdale here. 
This hit's gonna hurt, but we'll find out what he is. As he actually goes for Stone Edge, probably thinking we will bring in the Oricorio. So nice middle ground play on his part. I'm gonna go ahead and get on my rocks, hopefully. As in comes the Mesprit. Gonna take this chance to now Toxic, I think. Or should I bring in Slash? Actually, this might be my best chance to try and spin. So I have to be aggressive here with Sand Slash. I really hope he doesn't have uh, Hidden Power Fighting. Because I need to get rid of the spikes, dude. I need to get rid of these spikes. Like, rocks are fine. I can more manage with the rocks. But the spikes along with rocks is when things get really bad here. So thankfully, thankfully he goes for the uh, for the little, little for the stealth rocks there. As I'm gonna go ahead and go for a toxic. At this point, if he does have hidden power fire, I don't mind it <clears throat> because sand slash has done exactly what I wanted it to do. Ensure the hazards are not gonna be up as he U-turns into the electros. This confirms the fact that he most likely does not have hidden power fire to hit our uh, sand slash here as in comes the electros. This thing is also, also, why can I not speak today? <laughs> like, I feel like my own, like my voice is also like in a rush. So I gotta like take a second to chill, take a second to chill here. So much like frost last electros is actually kind of annoying to us. Do I just switch into my Oricorio here? I feel like Oricorio can kind of deal with this thing now that it's toxic. Maybe that wouldn't be entirely too bad. If he not, I don't want him to knock off, actually. Knocking off is the worst case scenario here. He most likely is going to go for Flamethrower. And Frostlass is very, very spadef bulky. I mean, I don't necessarily need Frostlass to take hits from anything, so... Bringing this in to get up a Lair Spike seems fine, as he has Gigavolt Havoc! What?! Okay. That's really cool! That's actually really cool. I did not see that coming whatsoever. And that flamethrower actually did way more damage than I had expected. So I'm going to try and synthesis here. If anything, I can keep Roselia around just kind of for death fodder later in the match. We know Mesprit's defensive. Uh, this Dugshear has to be offensive, obviously. Primate most likely is Scarfed. And this Electros being toxic is now on a timer. So I don't mind just kind of staying in here and burning a couple turns. As he went from 40% to 35%. So he got a bit of a high damage roll on that first flamethrower but it's fine as he ends up going for the u-turn this is okay by me as in comes the fracture uh this thing as i said could actually be scary this could actually be very scary do i break a sub do i break this thing sub maybe i should have just let this have been ko'd dude i'm so scared yes so we actually just break any sub that this wants to have and we can 2 a KO. So I'm going to stay in here. As he goes for the Outrage. And I get absolutely murdered. Oh my god. I just got destroyed. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Alolan Slash here should take 2. Right? Jesus. Bro. Why? Why is that doing 36%? Oh my god. That's ridiculous damage. Was that banded? That had to be banded. That had to be banded. Hold on. Ah, what? Sand? Where's Slash? Alone Sand Slash? That had to be banded, dude. There's no way you're doing that much damage. That was banded. Holy crap. That's really cool, actually. Freaking banded fracture. That's dope. That's dope. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty dope. So I can just sack off my my Slash here as in comes the Doug Trio. This is fine, seeing as I can probably bring in my Primeape. Also, uh, Mudsdale kind of comes in to click Earthquake. I'm a little concerned of Stone Edge coming from this. Can I just click Close Combat yet? No, not quite. Uh, actually, Jellicent might not be that bad of a switch in here. Actually, yeah, maybe Jellicent's not that bad. Uh, would this be Banded Dugtrio? That's like the worst case scenario, I suppose. I could also bring in Mudsdale to go for the Toxic to potentially catch the incoming Mesprit. That might actually not be that bad either. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Mudsdale here. As long as I have Jellicent, Primeape shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to Toxic this. If he stays in and goes for Earthquake again, I'm going to check the calc, see how much he's doing to us. And if he's banded, then I'm going to hard switch right into Oricorio. In which case, I can probably just go for Hurricane and knock something out. But I don't think I lose anything in going for Toxic here. Alternatively, I could Rock Slide, but I don't want to risk Mesprit. I feel like Mesprit's such a safe switch in here. Yeah, that's got to be banded. That's got to be banded. Holy crap. That did 45% to a Mudsdale. Hold on. See, I have to get used to these PU calcs for the tour. Horsey, Dug Trio. Say you're banded. 
choice band earthquake does 44 here i should put it at the bottom yeah so choice band earthquake does 44 to 52 percent he did 44 percent as he decides to dip out i'm guessing he didn't really know what to do at this point i don't know i feel like maybe he still had a chance to potentially win this game like scarf primate is a little bit annoying but i guess if you lose dougie and there's no way he can break through mudsdale so easily mesprit was really the biggest issue i think but between jellison and oricorio i think i should have been fine plus i can always u-turn with uh primate but yeah this was definitely choice banded so we're gonna get one more battle because i gotta dip in a minute <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> Alright, so I'm probably going to get tossed by this Trick Room squad. I'd be so upset to lose it to a team with the Clay Doll. So, Corbomitable, obviously very terrifying. Holy crap, I need to burn that. Uh, Duosion is also scary. So could this, uh, what's it called? Wishy Washy be a problem. Is I don't have Taunt. Is that Six Foot Hex? Maybe. Don't. Wreck me. Please. <laughs> Is it? I mean, you can see it on the channel, potentially later. But I'm not sure. Like, I figured, what's this? Carbink is is gonna is gonna be his lead, right? Yeah, like Carbink has to be his lead. So we can exchange rocks, but he still gets up. Trick room, which is bad. If I lead with actually, I think Alolan Sand Slash might be my best bet here because this way I can at least Iron Head and try to prevent him from getting up. Hazards for free? Oh, it could be Custop Berry. Well, I mean, I still would rather spin here, I think. Because if he's Custop Berry, does Trick Room... Can you Trick Room actually with Custop Berry? I've never thought about that. And now I'm concerned. Because I can spin here. No, I'm going to Iron Hit. Yeah, okay. So down goes Carbing. I don't, I, I don't know. I actually, I'm not entirely sure about that. This thing is going to Trick Room, so I'm going to spin here for sure. I just want to get rid of these hazards. <clears throat> so yeah, Trick Room, that was obvious. Um, this has to have Psychic, Hidden Power, Fighting, and Shadow Ball is what I'm thinking. Mudsdale can more or less deal with those. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, this is... What does this do? I don't know what this does. Does it get, like, Grass Knot or something? I don't know. I don't know, but I was hoping to get up rocks on the Duosion, which would have made things a little bit easier. But him not having rocks up on my side of the field also makes things a little easy. As we tank the hit here, I can probably just go for recover just to kind of be on the safe side because that was definitely hit on power grass. So recovering here, I think is good because we're going to waste his trick room turns. If he brings back in the Duosion, we have Hex. The Audino, we're going to have to Will-O-Wisp and burn it, I think. So, that might be the best route to go down. Oh no, we have Taunt! Holy crap, we have Taunt! Oh my god! Why did I lead with this? Why do I not pay attention to this? Oh, he's got Mental Orb! No! No, that is, that is no, no, no. No bueno. It's no bueno. Okay, that's really bad. Crap. Hmm. I think I need, I need to get up some type of hazards, dude. I need to get up some type of hazards. Hmm. Roselia or horse here but get up rocks that's more damage on wishy-washy like spikes hits everything else except duosion and clay doll but i mean clay doll is only taking six percent everything else is taking 12 percent i think getting off more damage on crambomito might be a little bit better but if he tricks from here as i bring in roselia that gives him a free switch into crambomitable and that's really bad i think crambomitable just kind of gets a kill for free honestly yeah, this is this is not looking good. I need a taunt here, I think, regardless. Because I can't let him get up Trick Room. I actually cannot let him get up Trick Room. <clears throat> so I was not expecting Mental Herb. That was a really nice nice item to carry on this Audino. So I'm trying to figure out what outs I have against Carbomitable, guys. Like, this thing in Trick Room actually just wrecks me. So he's going to go for knockoff, maybe. Yeah, just try to get off a little bit of chip. That makes sense, I think. I could still go for will o -Wisp here. Just because I want to try and get off some residual on Audino as he spams knockoff. Uh, we can go for recover one more time. Let's see. If I lose the scarf on my ape, is that the worst thing ever? Not really. 
because I just get to click close combat for free and you turn I actually don't even need the scarf on my hip so I want to keep my jellison around because we still tank a hit as the U turns out into the devotion that's fine I can U turn out myself and then getting off any damage on this is going to be really great because this thing not being at full HP makes it so much easier for the rest of my squad to deal with I really wish this was sub over Koro actually if I was sub over Koro I could just come in, substitute, and probably just get a KO or two. As he does barely end up living the hit there, that is not entirely the worst thing ever, as he most definitely is going to go for Trick Room here, so... Frick, dude, Carbomitable still just comes in. Yeah, I have nothing for Carbomitable. Uh, this is not looking too hot for us right now. If I brought this in, I could at least go for a Z Hurricane potentially. And then maybe that way I can nab a KO, a surprise KO. Wouldn't even be that bad either. But like, do you leave this in here? I don't. So, first off, you're not switching in Corbomitable. You have a Clay Doll and you have an Audino. If he brings in Audino, that's not that bad. If he brings in Clay Doll, that's realistically also not that bad. So, I really want a Z Hurricane here, I think. But like he can just sack this off though and bring in Crabomitable regardless. Is my thing. So is it worth trying to switch around? Yeah, because this drops, in comes Crabomitable. I sack something regardless. If I bring in Mudsdale, I can at least try. Why would you switch this in? I could have just gone for the Z Hurricane. I could have just gone for the Z Hurricane and murdered something. Oh my lord. I could have just <laughs> No, why? Now, oh my I why would you risk this? I don't understand. I don't understand why you would risk this. I literally had Z Bro, bro, please, please tell me why. Like I'm not I'm not, not I'm not judging your play. Just just tell me why. Like <laughs> why would you make that play? That's all I wanna know. That's all I wanna know why you would risk that play. That's that's all I wanna know. That's all I wanna know. So this is really bad now. This is bad because this close combat. Mm, I'm gonna try to be cheeky. Expect Jellicent. Yes! Oh my god, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. So you close combat. What else, what else? I bring in a Prime Ape and just click close combat. Do I need Mudsdale still? What about Sand Slice? Do I actually, do I even need Roselia? I really don't need Roselia. I'm gonna bring in Roselia here. Bro, okay, so we know he's life orbed. As he goes for close combat. Okay, Jesus, why the... Oh my god. Why are you doing so much? Why are you actually doing so much damage to me? Good lord. You shouldn't leave this in. Actually, I shouldn't have brought in Roselia. I really shouldn't have brought in Roselia, I think. I can't sludge bomb Audino. Well, I guess it's not that bad, because I can still maybe try and play around this. This gives me a layer of spikes, potentially. Okay, so he does decide to sack off the Crabomitable. That is fine by me, as we can bring in Primeape now. And I'm clicking Close Combat. I do not want you on my screen, sir. Please go away. Please go away. You are just... You are just... Just scaring me. You are absolutely scaring me. So, Clay Doll does get up Trick Room once again. As I can bring in Mudsdale. Okay, so I may have to be aggressive in Earthquake here. I'm also going to try and get up Rocks. I don't feel like he stays in here, is the thing. So I can actually Toxic, most likely. Is what I'm thinking. Mm, I really wish the Scarf on my Ape had been knocked off earlier. That make things so much easier right now. I guess there's no real drawback in me going for Toxic here. Maybe Mudsdale can take a hit from Crabomitable. 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 As in comes the Wishy Washy. Okay, I expected that. That was a nice little middle ground play. Uh, I guess Earthquaking there might have not been the worst play ever that I could have done. But he can definitely HP Grass now. So I'm going to try and just be aggressive again. And pivot around these turns of Trick Room. Dude, I got to... I gotta find some way to deal with all of this right now. This thing in Trick Room is also still scary. Go for Hidden Power as he does do so. Hidden Power not very effective. That's really nice. 
rack up the tox damage. I really think we can live one hit, honestly. I really feel like we can live a hit. I'm gonna Earthquake. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I knew I should have brought in Jellicent. I knew I should have brought in Jellicent there. I freaking knew it. So, I can just go for a recover here and live a hit. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I should have listened to my gut, dude. I really should have listened to my gut. I had a feeling this was gonna be Zemu too. I've seen it somewhere before. So we do tank the hit here, we can recover off and still be at a decent amount of HP. As the Trick Room ends, this Washi Washi is basically useless to him. So I'm going to try and Hex here. As I can taunt Audino, stop it from getting up the hazards. I still have use for my Jellicent though. So I'm going to bring in Primeape here. I'm trying to play around these things as best I can guys, as best I can. Okay, perfect. I can just U-turn for free. Uh, Jellicent dies to Toxic. Is that the worst thing ever? Hmm. If I bring in Mudsdale... He could bring in Wishy Washy, but that wouldn't be the best thing ever. Mudsdale can get me rocks up. I still have Jellicent for a sack. Or a Corio. Dies. Yeah, I think I have to bring in Mudsdale. He most likely brings in Claydol. No, he brings in the Audino. Okay, so I get on my rocks here. As he goes for the Trick Room, that's fine. So Wishy Washy is gone. He could try to Earthquake me. If anything, he may sack off Wishy Washy to get a free switch into Carbomitable. I think it comes down to whether or not my horse lives a hit from Corbomitable. Maybe that's what it's going to come down to. Oh god, I get murdered. Yeah, yeah, there's no way I win. There's actually no way I win this. Because he can just sack off his wishy-washy here. In comes Corbomitable, and it just gets a kill for free. Basically. It's pretty much what happens. Uh. Oh yeah, this also can happen as well. So let's see. Yeah, I think everything just dies to this now. Oh well. So unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done there earlier. I think me... I think I tried to be as aggressive as I could. Maybe if I had switched in Jellicent on his Z-move, that way I would have been able to keep Jellicent around for a little bit longer. As we do tank the hit... Uh, we do get stamina, but it doesn't necessarily matter too much, as he just barely is out of range. No. Oh, that sucks. Actually, hold on. Is there a way I still win this? Is there a way I still win this? I think you have to ice move here. So I'm going to bring in Primeape. We take the hit. I sack off Jellicent. I can then bring in Primeape or bring in Pom Pom here and I have to calm Mind and then hopefully a plus one we knock out Claydol. I think that's what I need to do. Okay, so I need to calm Mind here. I need to calm Mind here. We should tank this. Oh Jesus, that did a lot. Should I Roost? I'm going to roost. No! I won! Oh, if my Z killed... Claydol, I won! No, I was going to call mine again! No! I was going to get to plus two. Oh, how do you spell Claydol? I don't know! Oh, damn it. Part of the game. So maybe we can unthaw. Unfortunately, we don't. Supersonic Sky Strike, yeah. Oh, well. Unfortunately, man, 10%. 10% chance to lose. I won the battle, dude. I was going to win, was going to lose, and I figured out how to win, and... ah. Oh.
That sucks. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I still feel like I played this out pretty well. I still feel like I played this out pretty well. I could have played a little better, I think. But, I guess in the end we lost to Hax. And, I mean, it is part of the game, so... There's no real reason to get entirely too upset. So yeah, very good game, man. This will be up on my channel later today. Alright, guys. So yeah, that is a live. Thanks, man. Appreciate the support, buddy. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, we'll have to see. You'll have to wait and see. I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, yeah. Okay, so I ran this over. I have to go. But yeah, shouts out to my boy Tone for passing me this squad here. Very fun couple battles there. Awesome, awesome last battle as well. So with that being said, I'll see y'all later tomorrow, most likely. And I got a dip. So later, guys.